Hey everybody, um, I actually recorded this video you're about to see a couple of weeks ago. I've been very, very busy at work and haven't been able to do anything with it. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. What we are doing is putting a marine mat on my buddy's Hobie Pro Angler 14. Um, he does have the one with the 360 drive. Um, it is an actual marine mat branded product. There were some issues with it both on Hobie's end and on marine mats end. Um, but we'll go over that in the video. Um, I think pretty much with any of these, there's going to be a hiccup here and there. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, Y'all stay tuned. Uh, like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Hey, everyone. So, as discussed, we are going to be putting a marine mat kit on my buddy's Hobie Pro Angler 14. Um, you see he has this, uh, he, they make this, you know, to order. And you see the uh, edges match pretty well to his kayak and it's gonna have the gray material on it throughout the kit um, I think it's gonna work pretty well um, it's gonna be kind of high up so we'll see how that goes but we're gonna I'm gonna take you step by step through doing this and doing it right he actually um, one of the steps that he has already done is cleaned the kayak we're going to use rubbing alcohol in addition to that um, on each surface right before we apply the pieces so what we're going to do now is we're going to dry up any excess water that might remain on the kayak and we're going to kind of lay this out and then after we do that i'll be back with you to kind of show you what it looks like once it's all laid out all right guys so we got it all laid out as you can see it pretty much covers the entire kayak Y'all stand by and I'll get you a little bit closer of a view real quick if the wind doesn't make everything fall. Alright, so you see everything is kind of covered up throughout the whole kayak. And you'll have a nice soft surface to stand on. It'll dampen the noise in the kayak. And I think it's going to look pretty good. So we're actually going to start uh, figuring out which part we want to start with and uh, we'll be back with you. So we are going to start from the back and then move our way to the front. He is using the rubbing alcohol to prep the surface. Again, he's already cleaned the kayak to get all the dirt on it. There might be some left. These kayaks are very hard to get completely 100% clean, which is why we're using this rubbing alcohol to really increase our chances of not having any issues. Okay. Right, so that whole surface is prepped. We are going to sit here and start applying it. Okay everyone, so we got the first piece, piece place. It's hard to say piece place. Your, your side's not even. See the gap over here? Your side's all the way to the edge. No, I have a gap. You just can't see it because of the angle. Look at this side. Will it come back up? Let's find out. It's flush. So it's just hard to judge that distance because of that bevel that's coming Oh, there. yeah. I see that. That's what keeps throwing me off with lining it up. So, let's see. Here. Probably about right there. Yeah, Are you want it measured from the edge of this, right? edge these corners well yeah i'm just saying you want this to be the point of measurement yeah okay that's pretty close yeah so we're having a couple of issues this is pretty square there's a slight issue right here but we don't think it's going to be very noticeable um so we left it alone we had to pull it up one time because it was way off on one side which he didn't like so we were able to pull it up because you know we had done it pretty quick after install um, this one I think isn't gonna be that bad we're gonna try to get a carpenter's pencil to mark spots I think our best bet is to judge the distance here and do the back side down while keeping the front up yeah so here's what I think we need to do because when you had it situated these were right but then this corner was way off and that corner was really close even though these like if you look right here the distance here and there look right the way you had it and you had it perfectly even right here 
Uh -huh. All right. When you had it, this corner was way closer to there than this corner. What I think we're going to end up needing to do is the way this is built is measure the back side first and make sure these corners are right and glue that down while leaving these up a little bit. And then once this is down, we can like articulate this to where it needs to be on the sides. See how it bends and flexes? Yeah. I think that's what we're going to end up having to do. Start here, measure this first, and then do the sides. That actually looks about right, don't it? This is a little further. Really? Yeah. Try that, and then bring this back. And then let me check the front edge. I wasn't looking at the front. The well, front's way off. Well, yeah. I'm just making sure that it's a, about the right distance. Yeah, I think that's where we need to be. I think that should be enough for us to get it right back in the right place. Yeah, you can see that enough. And I'll be able to see from this angle that it's right up on the edge in each spot. Yeah, you see the distance between that line and that line and that line and that line is pretty right on. Yeah, look at this level. And I think once this is in place, we'll be able to articulate this the way we want it to be. Okay. We just have to make sure we don't push down on the front too early. Well, I'm going to try to just peel the back. Yeah, that should work. And that's how I did all the stickers on mine. Just keep it folded under and we can go from there. Right. You grab that side mm -hmm. so it don't flip. Okay. All right. And get that right first. It's gonna come back some. Yeah. There, that looks good. Now let's make sure these look right. My side looks right. Yeah, I think that's good. All right, let's go ahead and push this down then. I'm pulling. You grab that. Best you can, you got it. Mm -hmm. Just peeling that side, you line that one up best you can. And then you'll... And then, then we'll do this one, but I'll let you eyeball it since you got top view. I'm peeling this okay. one. I'm going to let you line this one since you got top view. Yeah. Right. Ooh. So it needs to come in a little bit. Can you see it good enough? Yeah. Okay. Camera was in the way, but I... There's only going to be one small spot that's off, but it's unavoidable at this point. Um, yeah, that's not going to matter that much. And right here is a little further away than right here. Only people that will notice that is me and you. Yeah. Kind of like this. Only people that's going to notice that. the front's that, pretty dead on. Like this. Only people that's going to notice that 30 second of an inch that it's off right there is me because I know it's the there. The way I see it, if this is perfect and this is perfect, that little bit right there ain't going to be that noticeable. So if you guys were watching, what we did was we did the back side on this piece first, and then we were able to move these pieces in and out to space them out perfectly. Um, and there's a couple of small things, but they're not that noticeable. Now the question is, how far up do I want this to go? I think probably about that far up from the bottom. Yeah, I think that looks good. You want to mark it? Not yet. I just want to lay, lay this piece down with it right there. I do the same move with y'all. And make sure that they're not sitting right. Is that sitting right on top of that? Not on my side. See, because you got to make sure this is going around that curve, because that would be your judgment point. Well, what I was trying to figure out is if this might need to... Do you think we should lay these two side pieces and then center that in between them? Because, you know, once you hit this, this corner and get that good distance here and make sure that that corner hits right there, mm -hmm. I think that that might be the game plan. All right, hold that corner right there. Right here? Yeah. Make sure that that was good. He's got to come back just a tad. Uh, doesn't that, does that look weird having more, so much space right there? 
Just, just hold it right there. No, I mean, you gotta hold it here, just hold it where you want it. I'd go up a hair, if you can. Go up to about right there. It needs to go, there you go. Okay, go ahead and hold this back spot again. If you went too far, the yellow part mm -hmm. rolled over into the edge. Get that triangle. So what I think we should do, and you can feel free to not like that because it's your thing, is line to peel from here to here, and or here to here and line up this and this and then between the two of us press it both at the same time and then finish peeling it back to here and press it to there yeah just do a little bit at a time yeah i think we kind of need to do it like we did the last one but i think lining up these two points of contact will set that up to land right where it needs to be we'll peel away i'll let you do the honors uh, at least it peels easy yeah do you think we should peel some of the big too, or just go yeah, to like just right, to right, right here, just so that we can line up that corner? And give me this tip. Right. And you just hold the back and support it, and I'll try to line up both of these perfectly. That right. paper will keep the back up. Yeah. Well, that's lined. And that's lined. I'm going to go ahead and press this front. Okay. You got control on this holding it up. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm just making sure. It's nerve wracking. Mm -hmm. I think the way I just did it though, I couldn't have like, we, we, it's exactly where I wanted it to be. It's kind of dipped down into this right here, but then it comes back this way. But this is literally as far up as it can go. Otherwise, you would have had a giant gap right there. Okay, I've actually got this lined up in the corner down here. Think you can pull that and keep it lined? I think if I can just hold it right here, I can pull. Yeah. And I can press as you pull? Yeah. And I'll press back towards you. Go ahead. Okay. Alright. I'm keeping this corner in the lines. You gotta let go a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. pretty well uh -huh. right, I'm not sure if you guys were able to see that but we lined up we marked here and we marked there and we marked back here on this corner and we started here and we lined these two up and pressed simultaneously and then we were able to pull the sticker out from under it as he kept this aligned on this back corner worked pretty well I think and I think that'll help us line up this center piece a little bit better because we'll be able to center it between the two so we're going to move around to the other side and do the same thing. All right, guys. So we did have one hiccup. So I'm back with you. This is perfect. It's aligned perfectly there and there. These two came out pretty well. 
Um, only, oh, those are the screws there. Only thing is this was a little bit further back on this one. I think that was, it could be an issue with the placement of these on Hobie's part. And the reason I say that is because Hobie definitely messed up right here. This center hatch here is center on this piece here. It's a rudder cable control box. And this is completely center. So this is center on that and this is center on the kayak. But if you look, the, that the gap here and the gap there, the gap over here is much larger. And that's not Marine Nat's fault. If you look at it, this here is put, the actual center point of the kayak is over this way. So when Hobie manufactured this, they installed this hatch too far this way. The hatch edge probably should have came over here. So I don't know if it was a problem with the mold or the problem with whoever actually cut this box. Um, but I actually think it was whoever cut this box because if you look at this, there's a lot more beveled edge right here around this box than on this side. This, this side's very close. So I think they installed this box, this cover incorrectly when they cut the box in the wrong spot. So, um, okay, nothing we can do about that. It's going to be there, but we lined everything up in other places the best we could and we're just going to have to live in that gap. But I wanted to point that out, that it could be an issue with your kayak and not necessarily the mat you're putting down. Um, I did just want to show you our progress. We've got all of this done. We've got all of this done. And we've done these pieces around the edge. The next issue we came across was, you see the distance here, it's very small. And then the distance over there is a lot bigger. Reason is because from this rail, bottom of this rail, to this edge here, on this side is 27 centimeters. And on that side, it's 29 centimeters. So it's again, another problem with Hobie, not Marine Mat. So we're gonna continue. There's nothing we can do about that. So we just did the best we could. We're gonna continue, show you the finished product. I still think it's gonna look excellent. Uh, we just have to push forward. We may or may not replace these. I'm thinking that we may decide to keep them black, but we're gonna see how it looks at the end. Because to replace these, we have to like pull these up completely. And we're not sure if we wanna do that. So we'll get to the end and let you know if that's what we intend to do. Hey guys, so as you can see, there are a few pieces that we did not install. These pieces go under the seat, so we just didn't think it was necessary. Um, we're gonna hold on to them just in case. These go on the foot pedals, um, and I think it just makes sense, and Dustin agreed that we use these as a replacement piece for the foot pedals. Eventually, the foam on the foot pedals is gonna, that's already on there is gonna wear out. So I think we're just gonna hold on to these and then once that does wear out, then we can replace it. Same thing with these uh, spots for your feet on the Hobie and I'm about to show you that. I think it makes sense as well to just use these as replacement pieces when the ones that are on there wear out. Take a look, you can see that, you know, you can't even see that. There's no sense in replacing that right now. Right here, like I said, these look good. So there's, I mean, it's just a waste if we were to pull this up. So we're gonna leave this. It really doesn't change the look too much. We think it looks good. Still looks like a good matted surface. Um, and again, with the foot pedals, same deal. It's, you might as well wait till they wear out and then get ultimate longevity because the pedals and this spot right here are what's gonna wear out the most, just simply because that's where it's getting the most pressure and the most literal foot traffic. So, now I'm going to show you how this thing looks. Take a look at that. Looks pretty good. Dustin, do you fall the seat down? Matted from the front. Now with that, here in the middle. Down the side. Right here. Right here. That's good. So with that, this video is going to come to a close. Hope you guys got something out of it. I didn't show the whole install. I would have made this a very long video. I didn't want it to be a long video. I wanted you to be able to see what you needed to see to do this in a short period of time. Pretty much everything we did the same way. We cleaned the surface with the alcohol very well before we installed anything. And then we just took our time to measure things out. 
I will tell you what we found out with this. There are some issues with Hobie. There's also a couple of issues with Marine Matt. Marine Matt did cut some of these off a little bit. Um, so that's on them. You know, we did the best we could with what we got. I do think that the what you pay for these things, they should be right. Um, I'm not sure what kind of warranty or replacement um, deals that Marine Matt has, but I do think that might be something you want to look into before you purchase. Um, I think that if they're going to charge that much for this stuff, then they should stand by the product and replace it if it's going to be off like that. Um, other than that, I mean, it, it still looks really good. We were able to kind of maneuver some things that weren't lining up. There's a few things that were unavoidable, especially the ones that were Hobie's fault that just the mold just doesn't line up. It's not symmetrical from one side to the other. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Still trying to build the channel. Thank you guys a lot. Thanks, Dustin.